So this is where we left off in the previous video. If we hit play now, we can collect these stars and when we fall onto these spikes, the game is over. But here we need to make a restart button to actually restart the game. So let's exit play mode and select the game over panel inside the canvas, right click, UI and select button here. Let's rename this button to restart. And let's double click to zoom on it. And here we can scale this up. Um, a bit more I guess. Now let's place this below the center. Ok, let's select the text here and change this to restart. And also let's make it bold. And hit this best fit here. And yeah, it looks good. So now we can um, select the button again. And let's add on click event here. Now open up the manager script, game manager script and in here we will make a public method that will be called when the button is pressed. So public void, let's call this restart and up here we need to include a scene manager. So using unity engine dot scene management. And now inside the restart method, let's type in scene manager dot load scene and there are some overloads of this method. We will use this one and given an integer value to this. Let me show you what this zero is. Let's go to file and here go to build settings and here you can see our scene has an index of zero. And here we are loading this scene with zero index. Now let's save this go back. We will drag and drop this game manager to this on click event. And find the function that we just created inside this game manager so restart. And now let's try this. Click restart. Awesome. So now we can restart our game when the player dies. Let's just try to reach the end without dying, okay? Okay, so what else do we need to do now? Um, I think let's, let's just add a few more spikes to make the game more difficult. Ok so now select the stir, F to focus on it and Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's place this one outside the stars. Let's rename this to finish star. Cool. So now also let's make it bigger than from the other stars, 0.7 I think will do. Ok so zoom out a bit and now let's place this at the end of our level. And also let's make another tag for this one. Let's name this finish star and just copy this. And assign this tag to the star. So when the player collects this star he wins the game. Ok so now let's open up the player script and inside this on trigger method we will check if the game object that we hit has a tag of finish star. So let's just copy and paste this here and change this to finish star. Ok. Let me just double check if I have put the right tag here. So let's go back. 
select our star here okay so yeah it has a capital F and I have put a small f here so let's just change this and now we will need to remove this first line here instead go to the game manager and we will make another method here for when the player collects the finish star so public void let's call this game completed I'll call it whatever you want put a D in here and in here we want to show some UI so let's go up and copy this game over panel let's rename this to uh, I don't know win panel and inside of this start method we will disable this panel so set active false and now let's go back to our game completed method and here we will just uh, re-enable this and yeah that's it go back to the player script and call this method here okay, I'm complete save this and go back to unity go to canvas and now duplicate this game over panel and let's call this one win panel also let's just disable this uh, game over panel for now select the text here and type in I don't know let's just type in game completed and for this restart button I think I'll just leave this as is so let's select the game manager and assign this win panel to this slot here so everything looks good now let's hit play actually let's go to our win panel and and add another text box here and call this one score because I want the score to also appear when the game is finished let's place this text below this game completed text and change this to score plus some random number also let's make it a bit smaller this looks alright and now I want this score to update when the um, game panel or the game completed panel appears so to make it happen let's open up the game manager script and up here let's make another text just copy and paste this one here and change the name to uh, game or score text as it will appear when the game is over so here in the game completed method let's set this text to score plus whatever score we have that's it now head back to unity and assign this text to the game manager let's drag and drop this here and we are ready to play the game let me just try and beat my own game uh, let's see if I can do this okay I can do this alright okay I'll win I can oh no okay let me just try again I'm not giving up on this okay 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 um, and yeah awesome so the score updates and we can also restart the game
So congratulations you have created your very own game. But we need to add some menu and also there is no sound in the game. So in the next video we will create a menu for our game and add some sound to it. Also if you like this video please consider subscribing and until next time see ya.